On a moment's notice, the men and women of the 244th Air Brigade spring to work. Hey, if it needs to get from point A to point B, give us a call and we'll get them there. The Louisiana Air National Guard unit, appropriately the Tiger Brigade. This is a pop-up mission, so we got to hurry up. Is permanently on call. 110 max torque available, 85, 90, go, no, go. Whether flying over a forest of date trees as a sort of flying taxi for an Iraqi or American official, or suddenly getting put to work in support of a combat mission. Lieutenant Colonel Patrick Bosetta of New Orleans is the battalion commander. I can't think of one state that has pulled its weight more than Louisiana. Consider that the Tiger Brigade has been deployed for 35 of the last 54 months. Nearly three years of total service, dating back to the war's beginning, the rooftop rescues in the days after Katrina, now Iraq again. Pilot Mike Stanko is on his second tour there. We shared a lot of time together last time we were here. Probably 50% of the people that are here were here last time. It's great. If anybody wants something to be proud of in Louisiana, I know we kind of get hit on a few things. Just look at the commitment to mission that these citizen soldiers do. Teachers, police officers, bankers, doctors. In civilian life, the colonel is a lawyer who defends NOPD officers involved in shooting incidents. Every walk of life from every community in that state, I will, I will do it. What a commitment to the country, what a commitment to how they feel about freedom and liberty. Yeah. Call me the saucier. <laughs> Explain that. What's, what's the saucier? What's the cook? I, I cook for everybody. I cook them jambalaya, red beans, gumbo, the best. During their deployment, the battalion has tried to hang on to little bits of home. The soldiers can't go to Mardi Gras, so I'm bringing Mardi Gras to the soldiers. Just as other Louisiana units have staged Mardi Gras parades in the Iraqi desert, the 244th has Hubig pies, red beans, jambalaya. What, what, what other culture brings that with them to a war zone other than people from the walls? So Colonel Bassetta tells photographer Julie Dermansky being in a war zone produces a certain perspective about the challenges back home. That's what they got to go back to is their spirit and their heart. They'll rebuild, we'll rebuild. Um, that spirit, that character, that charm, the food, how we live, you can't destroy that with a hurricane. No way on this earth. This is his third time serving in the Middle East. The one thing I will take away is that I have come to understand and realize that you know, children are children. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. It really doesn't. Kids are kids. Can I get the sea cell, Jim? And despite the unpopularity of the war back in the States, for the most part, they are believers. People, no matter where they are, want to be free. They want to have certain liberties. And yes, you can have liberty within different cultures. But freedom and liberty are really, I think, what deep down people really want. You uh, have a lot of different people have opinions on why we're here, what we're doing, and how we're doing it. But the bottom line is, is you can be patriotic and you can be, you know, supportive of the mission, but the bottom line is you're here for your friends. Important as those personal relationships are, they go even deeper at crunch time. Everybody knows their place and their job, what they need to do to make everything go smoothly and we just make it happen. Knowing each other's habits can mean survival. Especially when you're in the cockpit and you've flown with people for a long time, you know what their moves are going to be uh, when things are going smooth and you can anticipate how they react when you're under tremendous, tremendous pressure. Those two? You don't, you don't want those two. You do not. <laughs> Citizen soldiers, far from home, but always, says their commander, devoted to the mission. I would rather be nowhere than where I am, but right here with these men. Whether it involves Arrived rooftop rescues or rooftop patrols. John Snell, Fox 8 News.